kind of go to you. Um, <clears throat> this is more of a, uh, a a really big step for you. Did you prepare anything different? I, he he seems like he might know that you're anticipating to go with the ground. Are you going with the ground? If without giving too much away either. Um, do you plan on standing and banging with him? Because he has put away a couple guys early, the last few fights. Yeah, I'm not going to throw punches, but, you know, I am a jiu-jitsu guy, and I, I believe this will be a jiu-jitsu clinic. And, you know, Jamie Marr is a, a black belt and a great grappler as well, so I think it should be interesting. I see it going to the ground. You know, I, I've seen that left, left hand, you know, the last fight. Mm -hmm. um, I was out there at... Um, and watch that player challenge, and he just dropped it out right quick. So right. I see him do that. I know he's got power, and uh, he's got the juice, and you know, it's just an honor to fight such a legendary fighter. And I know that you know we can't, none of us can fight forever. We were scheduled to fight like six, seven years ago, and you know I was standing in the cage next to the guy. And uh, to tell you the truth, I was, I think he would have kicked the crap out of me. Then I was lucky I didn't get that fight. So now I feel I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready to take this. It should be for a bell, but unfortunately, you know, those are all, it's not, it's just a main event. So, 15 minutes, it's going to be uh, entertaining 15 minutes. So, you know, I hope that everyone will come out and watch. Going back to Jamie, uh, in regards to that, uh, the call out on Facebook, was it the call out or would you have fought him anyways, being that you feel that he's a potential? If they would have asked me to fight him, I would have fought him, but, you know, since he called me out, then uh, I had to step up right then and there. So you feel that whether he was uh, ready or, or a potential candidate, it didn't matter. He, he wants well, to fight. Like he was ready, you know. I, I mean, he needed an opponent too. So you know, he got to pick who he wanted. He called me out. He called me out in a grappling match. You know, for the last couple, three, four weeks, he's been calling me out. So you know, if you call me out enough, you're gonna, you know, I'm gonna step up. Good. We've been talking about how it's going to be a, a fight on the ground, but how do you guys match up styles together? There's a lot of detail in the interviews here. Um, we, we know it's going to end up being a grappling match, but how do you think you guys add up? He's obviously a black belt. He's done this uh, many, many times. Very seasoned veteran. Um, how, how do you uh, match up? I, you know, I've been training for 10 years with one of the toughest uh, teams, you know, Cesar Gracie, Dave Jarrell, and... Uh, you know, there's nothing I haven't seen. There's nothing that Jamie Harden can do to me that uh, Dave Terrell and Nasty Nate Descharm and Jake Shields and Gilbert Melendez and Diaz brothers haven't already done. You know, so I think it would be 15 minutes of all-out war. You know, this could go down as one of the, you know, one, a great fight. And uh, as far as the call-out, I think that uh, as fighters, you know, you got to make some noise and, and make some hype, you know. Sonnen is, like, maybe not the best fighter in the world, but he got, what, four title fights? You know, for you know, you having a, having a mouthpiece, and, and I got a, a more, of a, I think, a real positive message, and that I want to share with the world. And um, I call out Jamie Hart because of the respect that I have for him, and I I literally think that he's the toughest fight in NorCal right now for me. You know, I think that Max Griffin really doesn't want none, and and, and maybe it, that should fight this should never happen because I was actually going to ask uh, Brandon if we could just maybe do a, a five round kickboxing match. And uh, for that one, because you know, I'm a I'm like black belt level, and he's not there. It's like taking candy from a baby. It's like he's in a Pinto, and I'm in a Ferrari. <laughs> With Jamie Hart, man, it's it's two Ferraris lined up, man. You know, and I'm just stoked that we're able to get this chance to do it right now, here, now, one month from the four weeks from today. I'm, it's an honor and a pleasure to be out here in Sacramento. I, I love this team, the team Alpha Male, and I got nothing but respect for all the other. Fighters out here, man, we grind it hard to, to bring you a good show. Question is for um, Jamie and Dave. Um, win or lose, do you guys, would you like a rematch against Max? And um, would you like to fight Max in the future? No, I will not fight Max. Um, Max is one of my students, and I don't feel like I need to fight him. Dave, do you see yourself fighting him in the future? Well, he's dubbed me a couple times now, so of course I want to fight him. Uh, he's got the juice out here. He's got two of these belts, you know. Even if I was to win this fight, I still don't need to take home a belt. Um, this question for Brandon. I haven't seen you strip anybody for belts, so let's just say Dave wins this fight. Will you be making Max fight in the future for the belt? Uh, we'll see when we get there. Um, yeah, I've already talked to Max about the potential of whoever wins this fight. And he's also made it clear that... Uh, 
Jamie is his uh, sensei, and he's like, I'm not going to fight him again. So, um, you know, still have Scott as our champion. He's going through a lot of personal struggles now, um, but it looks like we're probably going to strip the belt from him, um, missing that last couple fights. So we'll see how it all, uh, you know, goes down. we got a huge high-level fight here, and we'll see how, see how it uh, turns out. How's it, how's it going to be, not necessarily physically, but mentally in preparation for this fight? I've always been a confident fighter, um, regardless of you know, where I've been or where I've trained at. But now training with uh, the partners I train with and with high-level uh, teachers, man, I don't think anybody's hitting as hard as my guy. You know what I mean? And um, all our wrestlers, man, that we have, um, it's, you know, it's tougher than to take me down. You know? So um, I just feel, I feel confident, man. I, I really do. Uh, I wouldn't have asked for the fight if I didn't feel like that. You know, it was a winnable fight. Um, no one wants to go in, you know, to a fight thinking that they're going to lose the fight. So, um, just it, training with high-level guys and, you know, the team I'm with now, the partners, constantly training partners, you know, we don't get a break. You know, you go from training with one guy to the next guy who's just as good, if not better. So, you got to stay, you know, stay on your you know, on your game. So, I know, like, um, uh, I, I have a case, you know, when it's fighting. Uh, my question is for uh, Jamie. Um, looked up to, you, up to you for a long time. I was terrified of you then when I first met you. Um, you've done a lot in sport. You know, you you fought the who's who. You you held numerous titles. Um, you said that you wouldn't fight Max, but if Scott Smith does get stripped of his title, um, is that something you're interested in doing? Is staying with West Coast and making another run for the title, or, or where do you see yourself um, after this fight? And like, what's your future looking like? I don't know. I'm thinking about retiring, but it, it seems like, you know, things happen and I can't do it. You know, if I get called out or something happens, so we'll see what happens. We'll see. Mikhail, um, you know you had another fight scheduled for the last one. Um, the guy backed out. It happens a lot. I know how, you know, it affects people. So coming into another fight, are you more ancient and hungry for this fight? Yeah, man, I'm super, super hungry to fight again. Um, I had a couple, couple times, a couple guys backed out. Um, as far as this fight goes, I'm prepared. Uh, training's been going really good, and I'm ready, ready to show what I, uh, what I've learned and uh, how, how I evolved as a fighter. Is for, for Josh Emmett. Uh, you're facing Tony Rios. He's fought a couple of your teammates, including me and Anthony Avila. Super tough. Uh, you know, I've, uh, I. We had a war when we fought. He's every fight he's been in has been, you know, real tooth and nail. Um, do you think that? Do you think that your wrestling is going to be a factor here, or do you think that um, you'll need to look out for his jiu-jitsu from the start? What What do you expect from this fight for a guy that's been, who's been a strike force veteran and, and who's, you know, really done a lot of things in the sport already? Um, yeah, I, I just think it's going to be a tough fight. Like I think my last fight really helped me going the distance and actually having a, a all-out war, and I know. Tony's he's a really durable, really tough, good boxer, tough chin, and then also if I do use my wrestling to take him down, I know he's a high level jiu jitsu um, practitioner as well. So uh, you know, I'm just going to kind of fill it out. Can't tell you guys exactly how it's going to go, but uh, we'll definitely uh, fill it out and I'll take the fight where I want it to go. So, um, like I said, uh, you, know, you fought in strike force before, you fought a lot of tough guys, you've had a lot of wars, you've come out on top of quite a few of them, and you know. Very durable, very hard to finish. You have good skills. Um, seeing Josh's last fight, you know, in my opinion, it was it was uh, one of the best fights West Coast has had um, in in all of their events. Um, what are you What are you looking to capitalize on when you fight Josh? I mean, I've been training really hard, put my body through hell, getting this uh, you know cardio up, the skills better, always trying to get better at everything, and I feel like my style. Opens up a lot of holes for the other guys, so I get you know opportunities either in the stand up. I get opportunities on the ground. Um, you know, as long as I do what I'm supposed to do, I'm pretty sure the fight's going to be exciting. And I want to make sure that everyone comes out of there, regardless of who they're cheering for, they're going to enjoy that fight. You know, I, I I go into this fight, you know, anticipating the win. You know, like like you were saying, uh, no one goes into it thinking that they're going to lose. So yeah, my job is to uh, do what I do, um, work my style, find my openings, you know, make it exciting. I let everyone enjoy the fight. You know, no one wants to see like, a boring fight. Everyone wants to see either the knockout, a good submission match, or 
you know, at least a war, so that way when it's a decision, then people don't know which way it's going to go, or at least, you know, I prefer it to be, like, more in my favor, obviously, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, the last fight, you said you wanted to show off your hands a little bit more. Is that going to be the case this time? Just going to have to see. Well, you all got to come and see. I mean, I want to say come and see. I, like I said, I called out Jamie Hara because I got nothing but respect for him. He's a tough guy. He's durable. His jiu-jitsu is good. He's got a wicked left hand, you know, but I train with the best. I got the best mitt man in the business back there. DJ, I train with all the best guys right here. These guys right here. I mean, we got the best gym in the, in the country, and, and we've been grinding real hard. I, you know, I train three, four times a day, pretty much seven days a week. People are telling me, oh, you got to take a day off. And not with Jamie Hart on this Verizon, man. I ain't taking no days off and train every day from now until then. And, um, you know, get back to the UFC and, and, win that, and win that title, too. So that's the goal, and I, I believe that beating Jamie Hart puts me there. So this is it, man. This is the challenge for me. I want to challenge myself. As a martial artist, you know, I know I lost a lot of fights in UFC, but I was pretty badly injured, and I, I didn't have, I, I just wasn't good with where I was at, so I needed a fresh start, and Sacramento's been a fresh start for me, so I just want to thank everybody in Sacramento. It's a beautiful place, it's a wonderful place to live and, and work, and uh, I just want to do work. And so if I offended anybody, I apologize, it was crazy. I like, all I said was, you know, you know, I'm calling out the lion, you know, I'm the tiger, and I want the lion, you know, it's, you know, it's like the nature channel out here, you know? Uh, the, he, he, Jamie Hart's the alpha lion. I want to take over the pride, I got to beat him. It's not, oh, I think that, you know, he's old, I can, you know, come over the top of him. Or, it ain't like that. Like, I just called out the toughest fight that I could, that I could find. I mean, I said it on Facebook, and I'll say it again right now. You, you find me a tougher fight, the guy that isn't in Bellator or in UFC. I want to fight right here at West Coast Fighting because I believe in what these guys are trying to do out here. For, for these for all these fighters and for and for everybody in the community the fans you know the sponsors you know repping these all these brands and um, I'm gonna do everything I can to help build this brand and a fight against Jamie Hart builds this brand and it builds my brand you know I represent David Mitchell you know MMA that's what I do maybe I didn't go below the top because when I looked at my Facebook name it was like 120 comments and people were talking about stalking each other at work and and I said you know oh, this is too much man. I, so, like, I hope that, uh, you know, no, no one ends up getting hurt outside of the cage over that. You know, I, I just want to see the battle in the cage. And, you know, maybe, you know, Jamie Hart is the man for not talking out. He does his talking in the cage. He does his talking in the cage. I got respect for that. However, this is an a entertainment business, you know, and I'm trying to be an entertainer. We look forward to it. Thank you. Hello, Brandon. And, uh, since you haven't really spoke up there, I know you're still new. Nine fights. Where do you see yourself in the future? You know, a lot of people love you. And, um... Like what you're doing for the community, like she said. Where do you see yourself in another two, three years? I, I do see you sticking around for the long run. Yeah, we're in for the long haul. And like I've always said, we're in the middle of, you know, four or five best camps in the whole world. So um, we're just fortunate to be in a good place. Uh, our long-term vision, we, we turned down a television deal. Um, it wasn't, you know, a major deal. But we want to stick with pay-per-view. We want to control it. We're you know, trying to get major sponsors. Uh, we have regional sponsors. We're trying to get more corporate sponsors. And... Uh, we're trying to uh, build this thing nationally. We have guys from France coming over, uh, guys from L.A., and we're, we're trying to go international. And we're trying to control the market rather than give it to a television network where they sell the commercials. Um, we're going to we control the pay-per-view market. And I feel we have the best fighters for sure in the West Coast. And we're, just, like I said, fortunate to be uh, in the middle of such great camps. Jamie, I kind of wanted to touch a little on your, um, you mentioned <coughs> retirement. But uh, you know if you do beat David Mitchell, um, you're probably going to be a number one target for a lot of these guys that think they're going to do the same thing he's trying to achieve. Um, how are you going to handle that? Is, is there going to be a certain weight class you're going to want to fight in? I think everybody wants to fight me anyway. I think because most of these guys think that I'm old and they can beat me. I don't know. They all want to fight me. for what you asked for. All right, well, that concludes it, and we'll see you guys on April 1st.